All right. Um, so I just want to um, talk to you about some of the different tax systems that um, can be used. Um, and we're going to build up to the tax system that we use in the United States. So the first tax system, and it's the easiest, is called a flat tax. All right. And a flat tax is a tax system where everyone pays the same percentage. No matter who you are, no matter how much money you make, you pay the same percentage. So, for example, um, I'm going to go here. Flat tax calculation is a simple percentage of your salary. So, for example, let's say you made $50,000. All right. We're gonna, for this, we're going to use a tax rate of, I'll say, 15%. Your tax, so actually let me make this a little neater. This will be the um, income and your income tax. So let's say your income was $50,000. Your income tax would be 15%. So I can multiply this times $50,000. Whoops, sorry, $50,000. Your income tax is $7,500. All right, and if we were to continue to do this, I could put an income here, say $200,000. Your income is simple. It's 15% of that number. So in other words, I could put an income here and I could build a formula. If I notice C3 is staying the same, so I can freeze it. I could drag down. Bloop. Now obviously I get zeros here, but I could put an income of a million dollars here. And now pops my income tax of 150,000. Simple, basic system of tax. It's you pay a percentage of what you make and we're good. Now, some people don't like this system because what happens is is that the person paying fifty thousand dollars has to say pay the same proportion of his or her income as the person paying a million dollars and if i'm looking if i look the million dollar person pays hundred and fifty thousand dollars in taxes but has a lot more left over than the person making fifty thousand so what some people have said is we're going to do a simple progressive tax and a progressive tax a progressive tax is a tax system where you pay more if you a higher percentage I should say a higher percentage if you make more money and there are lots of ways to do this there are lots of ways to do this one simple way is and this is this is almost what our tax system is based on. It's a little bit more difficult than this, but let's say I'm going to make up a rule. All right. So here's my example. All right. If you make forty thousand not less less than forty thousand dollars, you will pay ten percent in taxes. And if you make more than forty thousand dollars you will pay 20% in tax. All right, and you can think about if this is fair or not. I'm going to let you decide that, but this is what a progressive tax system. So in other words, if you can afford to pay more, you will pay more. So here's our example. If you make less than $40,000, you'll pay 10% in taxes. If you make more than $40,000, you'll pay 20% in taxes. All right, so if I did my income, so income and income tax, it would have to depend on whether or not my income was less than 40000 or greater than 40000 I'm going to put 30000 I'm going to put 50000 and I'm going to put 100000 and I'll put a million. So these are some of the incomes I want to use. All right, so my income tax, I would want my 30000 to be taxed at 10%. I would want my 50,000 to be taxed at 20% because it's greater than 40,000. And same thing for 100,000 and same thing for a million. So you can imagine what's happening here. If this number is less than 40,000, then we're going to pay 10%. Otherwise, we're going to pay 20%. If this number is less than 40,000, we're going to pay 10%. If it's not, we're going to pay 20%. So this is a perfect example of where we can use an if formula. So here we go. If 
Well, what's my if going to be? I'm going to compare, actually before we do this, I'm going to put 40,000 in a cell here because that's my divider number. Okay? I want to put equals if this value, whoops, excuse me, hold on, equals if this value is less than, I want to say less than or equal to the 40,000, then I would like to pay 10%. Um, so I'm actually going to go put a 10%, whoops, hold on. Um, let me just actually put 10% and 20% in the cell before we do this. There we go. Now we'll go back here. If 30,000 is less than the 40,000, then I'm going to want to pay 10%. So I want to pay 10% of times the 30,000. Comma, if not, what do I want to do? Well, if it's not less than that, I want to pay 20% of the 30,000. Press enter. So if I look, I calculated $3,000. Okay, I'm going to do this again. Equals if, if this number is less than or equal to 40,000, then we're going to pay and by the way, if you look, before we do this, it comes up as false. So right now, 50,000 is not less than or equal to 40,000. But if it were, we're going to pay 10%. We're going to pay 10% of $50,000. And if not, we're going to pay 20% of $50,000. Whoops, sorry, hold on. We're going to pay 20% of $50,000. And so now... We've gone from 3,000 to 10,000. Now, you can think about what to freeze to make to bring these down because you're going to do some computations with some of these values. You're going to think about what to freeze. So if I put if I put incomes in here, 200,000, uh, 125,000, you're able to calculate the income tax. So you can think about what to freeze. Here I froze for you. Here you're going to have to think about what to freeze as you build these formulas. So you may want to build one for 100,000, build one for a million. So when you get to the spreadsheet that I share with you, you're going to have to fill out these values. And then you're going to, you're going to go through the assessment part that I create for you. All right, good job, guys.